Uh, so good afternoon everybody, my name is Pedro Sanger, I'm from the computer science department and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about computer science and, and what we offer in the department in general and hopefully we'll be able to motivate you to find this career path potentially interesting and consider computer science uh, as, as a major uh, at UST. Okay? So this is a picture of Mark Andreessen. He is one of the first pioneers uh, of, of the internet era. He was actually the developer of the very, very first browser. Uh, and then later on became uh, the president of Netscape and invested in many, many other companies like Facebook. Uh, so he makes the case, and this is something that we are seeing every day to, today with computer science, uh, that software is eating the world. That essentially lots of things that we do, how we go about our lives and, and companies and, and, and different products and, and different services, they're all guided and based on software. So, so basically this is a, uh, an interesting take. And if you look at these companies, for example, you probably know uh, all, most of them, if not all of them, and they are all very highly driven uh, by software. Uh, they provide services in different areas, uh, but still software play, play, plays a very big component in a lot of what they do. So, so essentially, software is becoming a, a very important and, and, and guiding uh, force in, in several different areas in, in our world. So in our department in, of computer science and engineering here at UST, we cover computer science in several different areas of it. Uh, so this is a list of the eight major areas. Um, so theory, I'll start with theory, which is essentially the most fundamental uh, area, which provides the basis for all the algorithms and all problems that we solve in the field as a whole. And then several different application areas like artificial intelligence, uh, which is very popular today with machine learning, cybersecurity, databases, uh, HCI, human computer interaction, uh, networking, uh, software development and vision and graphics, which is actually the area that I work on. So there are many, many different areas. We have a very big department of over 40 professors uh, and, they, and they teach uh, courses and do research in all of these different areas. So, so there's lots of things to learn uh, within computer science if you come to, to USD. Um, this is basically our curriculum uh, of, uh, in computer science here at USD. Uh, so in the first year, Students generally take introductory courses and fundamental courses, that's the, the common uh, path. And then as they proceed with the years two, three, and four, they take more specialized courses and eventually uh, terminate, uh, com complete with a capstone project on FIP. Okay? And throughout the whole process, they also take uh, general education courses, which we call university core education. And these includes courses in several different areas. Okay? So in addition to those of the major, they, they also take these more general courses as well. Uh, also, students can t do minors and they can go on exchange, they, they can go on internships. So there are several other things that students do also in parallel as they complete their major. Okay. So hopefully the font is not too small for you to see this, but this is basically the program uh, of our department. Uh, so you can get a sense of the courses uh, that we offer. The ones in the bottom, non-major courses, fundamental, then some programming courses, then some general foundation courses, uh, which are important no matter what area of computer science uh, you, you will study. And then the area courses of which you have to pick an area and take three courses of that area, plus two courses from outside that area. So this gives you both a depth in a particular area and breadth in general uh, within the computer science curriculum. So you, so you get a, to know a little bit more about a particular area, but you also have good overall knowledge of the, of the field. Okay? And then finally at the top you can see there's the FIP, which is the final year project, uh, and, and students can do either an FIP or a final year thesis, FIT, if they're doing research. Okay, so the, in, in the department, in addition to courses, we do a lot of research and there are several different projects that, 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 that colleagues in the department have worked on. This is a very interesting uh, digital ink art, sis, art system uh, that allows users to paint in the computer and it does the actual physical simulation on the, on, on, on the computer. So the physical simulation of the ink dispersion is done uh, in the machine. It's very, very interesting. There are some video links there. If you'd like to take a look, you can check uh, this, uh, this uh, system. Uh, and then there are several other exciting applications of what you can do. Uh, I mean, uh, um, drones, for example, provide a very interesting uh, um, platform for automation. So here we have a net that can be driven around automatically using drones. 
Um, so now I'll talk a little bit more about computer science. So in, in particular, our department. So uh, our, our department in computer science is a very highly ranked uh, worldwide department within the, the area. It's actually currently number 26 in the world in the last QS World University rankings. Uh, this ranking is based on several different criteria, based on teaching, research, satisfaction of the students, and so on. Uh, and overall, it's very high. It's the first one in Hong Kong and number 26 in the world. You can see lots of top universities uh, in the list there. Um, we also have a research exercise, a research assessment exercise that we do in Hong Kong. And uh, the percentage of the activity of research that we do uh, within our department is very high. It's, uh, nearly half is at the highest level, which is four star. And three star, which is also at a very high level, uh, accounts for the rest. So basically it's a lot of, of, of top quality research uh, being done at, US, at USD, in particular in our department. We also worked on several interesting uh, 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 projects. What this one is, is quite exciting is one that I did a long time ago. This was, I think, in 2010. Uh, so this was uh, the, the, the record for the largest gigapixel image, the largest panorama. It's, it's comprised of 11,000 single images that are stitched together. So we work on the process of doing the stitching and developing some post-processing tools to create a nice looking image. So, so this uh, was in 2010, so I can't believe it's been nine years already, but it was one, one exciting project that we worked on. Um, also, the, at our university, our department was the first in Hong Kong to develop wire, wireless communication for, for planes. This happened a while ago with two of our faculty members. So, so they developed a system to do wireless uh, networking inside planes with Boeing. And within uh, computer vision, there are also a lot of very interesting projects. Uh, this one, by also by a faculty member of our department, involve essentially capturing images from drones of different buildings and reconstructing the 3D geometry, reconstructing the shapes of those buildings automatically using software and these drones. So, so it's quite quite exciting project. And lots of very important applications. Uh, this is a um, uh, research in trying to detect errors in software. So it's a very important uh, research direction in, in computer science. How can you detect errors or, mis or problems in applications? So this won uh, a distinguished award uh, for, for this kind of work, for this kind of research. That's very important to make sure we have uh, bug-free software. Uh, and this is a group of students who won uh, the ICT award. Some students in our final year projects create very interesting uh, uh, programs and they become uh, very visible within the community. So the, the ICT awards is given in Hong Kong for, for contributions to communications technology. Uh, and, and this group won uh, an ICT award from the result of their final year project. There are also different kinds of competitions that uh, that basically uh, our, our team members, our UG students participate. Uh, this is another team uh, that won uh, uh, award and re received several awards in the Fire, Firebird C CTF team. Okay, so now I'll talk a little, so this is, gives a little bit of an idea so far of the department, uh, how well the department ranks and also some of the different projects that we do, uh, the awards of the students and so on. So now I'll talk a little bit about the career outlook uh, for people that choose computer science as their field. Uh, why is an interesting career? What are your, are your possibilities uh, with it? So uh, basically, uh, there's been lots of surveys on, 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 on what are the best, what are the top jobs, and what are interesting jobs uh, in, 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 in the market. Uh, so the US News usually conducts this survey very regularly. It's one of the top surveys on this. In 2019, they rank software developer as the number one uh, job. Uh, for several different uh, reasons, for the type of work, the, the, the type of life and, and, and interest and so on. Uh, so, so this was the, the top choice. Uh, it considers pay, it considers the, the benefits and all of that. Uh, so, so it's quite exciting and, 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 the, and it's very high rank as a, as, a, as a good profession in general. And we looked at what our students did in our service. So this is the, for the students that graduated in 2018, the employment survey. And um, you can see that uh, many of them received their first offer relatively early. Uh, so, and, and others received a little bit towards the summer. Very few only received offers 
much later. So people have been, have been able to find jobs uh, immediately, the majority of it, as soon as they finish. And many of them have gotten multiple offers. You can see on the, on the left there, 65% uh, uh, more or less received at least two offers, two or more offers. So, so it's, it's, it's quite well. Uh, it's, it's performing quite well in terms of the, of the market and finding good possibilities for work after graduation. Okay. These are the different sectors, just for your information, so you can see that a lot of them go to work on commerce and business. And some go on education, including myself and people that go to graduate school, and also a few of the other areas, like government and so on. But you can see the majority goes to business and commerce. And this is a huge list of career opportunities. By uh, learning programming, learning about computer science in general, uh, there are many, many different kinds of jobs uh, in the world that, that you can take. And these are usually available in, in large number of companies in completely different areas in many different countries. So there are lots of possibilities uh, to, 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 to use you know, the knowledge that you learn in the program in all these different areas. Okay, many of them after they finish the undergraduate decide to go to grad school, and these are some of the um, of the universities listed there that our graduates, our undergraduate uh, graduates, decided to go. Uh, so you can see some of them are the top uh, computer science departments, top uh, universities in the world. Uh, so with the knowledge that they learn here, the research and the courses they took here, they they are able to to join many of these programs. Okay. So I'll talk a little bit more about why our program is special. Um, basically, in addition to the major, there are several different things that you can do uh, here at UST. F first, you can also do a minor. So in addition to have a major in computer science or any other discipline, you can minor in another area. So that is a smaller number of courses you take. Instead of taking a, a 60 or so credits, you only have to take about 20. Uh, and they are the most fundamental courses of that area. So you can do that in addition uh, to your major. And also, uh, there is very good, a very good exchange program with uh, many, many universities from all over the world. And, uh, and, and that's actually a, um, a very popular uh, activity, too, for the majority of our students. They, they like to go abroad, uh, spend six months in a different uh, university, and then come back. And they, they learn with, from a different perspective, take different courses. So it's actually quite exciting and, and highly encouraged. Okay. So these are the minor programs. So and it's not a complete list. Every now and then, uh, new minors uh, are developed by different departments. Uh, but you can see these are all options that, that you can take. Uh, the first one in big data technology is actually also offered by our department. So if you're interested in big data, uh, you can take that minor in addition to the major. And then there are minors from several different departments there as well. And for the exchange that I mentioned also briefly, uh, basically, there, there, there are many different universities uh, for, for the exchange program. So there are uh, over 100 excellent universities uh, from around the world that you can go. And as I mentioned, it's usually one semester, and you just pay your local uh, tuition fee. Okay? Similarly, you can also go to mainland uh, and some of the top universities in China. And again, it's also about uh, one semester program. Okay? So our top students, they uh, also have lots of additional opportunities aside from the regular course curriculum. Uh, they can first major in two degrees. So we have dual degree programs that allow them to major in computer science and other area as well. So they end up getting two degrees when they graduate. Uh, we also have a double major program where you get only one degree, one major, but it can include courses from two different departments. Uh, and we have many, many students that do that, uh, particularly with math. It's a, it's a popular uh, program to double major with computer science. And a lot of our students that go on to grad school uh, often double major with, with another program as well. Uh, we also have special honors courses for, for the students that achieve very well in the, in the early courses. So we offer those in addition to the, to the regular courses. And we also have an undergraduate uh, research opportunities program that allows students to work with professors on a research problem. And this is very useful to get acquainted to research before going to grad school. So if you're interested in, in, in going to grad school, uh, I recommend trying to get involved in this program and try to, to conduct some uh, research. Okay. So I'll talk now a little bit more about the career development. Um, so already discussed a little bit about the courses. I discussed about the other opportunities like Europe and, and, and so on. Uh, in addition to that, as you progress uh, in your major in computer science, 
you, we also encourage you to, to work and, and work in the industry to, to also get a sense of how it is to write software in the real world. So we have a program um, uh, which is, which is uh, industry experience is one requirement of, 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 the com of computer science. And to fulfill that, students can do an internship uh, in a company or they can take different modules uh, for, for, to cover that, that knowledge. So it's very important practical experience and we try to encourage almost all of our students uh, to basically go and find a job during the summer to, to, to basically start in, uh, applying the skills that they're learning. We also have many other different events within the campus, sometimes organized by students, sometimes they're organized by the department or co-organized. Uh, we have hackathons. Uh, in which students work on a project within like a 24 or 48 hour period and they have to come up uh, with a solution. So we have these kind of contests. It's actually a lot of fun and lots of the students participate. Uh, here we have some images of that. So, so the bottom right, you can see the prize ceremony at the end and you can see in the other images, the students working on, uh, on a bunch of, on their own problems uh, within a short period, try to come up with a softer solution. So it's, it's very exciting and students really like doing that. Um, in addition to all the academic uh, facilities, we also have a great environment uh, at UST. We have two swimming pools, we have an ocean also in front. Uh, it's an exciting place to be, it's right by the east coast of, of, of Kowloon. So, so it's, a, it's a very nice area as well and it's also very connected to the city through buses and, and MTR stop nearby. So, so it's a very, a very nice place to be. Uh, we also have lots of sporting uh, events, so now we have something completely new, which is a water sports center that's going to be inaugurated very soon. So we have dragon boat activities and, 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 and other water sports activities, which are, which are also exciting to do. Um, for learning, there are also many places where you can study. So we have a library, which is, uh, which is very, very good, and there are many places to study there. Uh, we have also learning commons, so the, 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 the facilities that we provide are very good, both for, your, for, for the learning, for the courses, as well as for your personal life. Uh, and many times we have guests that come to give lectures and to, and to stay and do research with us. So we also have a hotel on campus, which is the Conference Lodge, and many lecture theaters. That one has one uh, nearby at IAS, and there are many others. So basically the environment is, is also very nice. Okay. And these are some shots from there. So you can see the sporting facilities there with the soccer stadium and, uh, and a scenic view of, of the port shelter. Uh, and this is taken from the, the conference lodge. Okay, so this is a, a group of students. So you can see this is a very diverse group of students. In general, we have students from all over the world and people usually like the place. They like the programs that we offer. They find the HKUSD uh, very exciting in general and they learn a lot from the experience here. So I hope you'll enjoy your visit, although it's virtual today. I hope you, you like uh, some of what we presented about our department, about our field and projects in computer science. And wish you the best of luck uh, in your future careers. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.